Oh. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and jelly babies. Welcome back to Haunting Ground. You are here with Morris. Okay, so I think I figured it out. By I think, I mean I know I figured it out because I just tried it and I reloaded it just so you can see. <laughs> so, what do we got in our inventory? Well, we got a cracked plate key and we also got another cracked plate key. One of them says RE, the other one says ST. So, what do you get when you put them together? Stree. No, you get rest. So, what we can do... That got me when it happened the last time. What you can do is make a new one. There is a... There's, there's more pl making these plate keys than I would have thought that there was in one game. You know, I thought that maybe you do this once and then that's it. But nope. This this might be a theme. And I also reset to ten. Because I, I used a couple up, but somebody's come in here and gone, you know what, Just I'll just refill that. Alright, so now we can open the uh, the locked door. I don't know who slammed this shut. Oh, Huey! Where you at? Huey. I, uh, in, in my running around this place, I did lose... Oh, thank god. I did lose Huey. So I don't know how, uh... I don't know how possible it is to actually lose him. <laughs> for, like, long periods of time. But if I know where I'm going, then I'm just gonna run. And hopefully the dog will find his way to me. That's, you know, I'll keep hitting the Huey button every now and then, but that's, you know, I, I got places to be, I got places to go. Plate keys to insert. And I'm just leaving all these doors open. Until, until someone tells me, until it's obvious that I shouldn't be doing that, I'm just gonna leave everything open. Got those glowy orbs that come after me, but I don't see any around here, so... Huey. Never mind. So yes, now we can insert said plate key into here. Because if you insert one of them, it says, oh, it looks like I need to reforge them. So I was looking, thinking, oh, I need to put these together somehow. But no, I just made a new, just made a new one. It's 2018, we don't fix things, just, just buy a new one. Excellent. Okay, now I didn't go in here, so I don't know what's about to happen. Nothing. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I should have made some of this... Hang on. Come on. Better get Huey in here just in case. I should have made some of this last week, uh, and I didn't. And the reason I didn't is because I was watching Time Cop. Now you're probably thinking that's not a good reason, but it is actually a good reason. You know, <laughs> I've never been, I've never been less ashamed and more proud of my own tastes in movies. Till, till watching Time Cop, you know? Jean-Claude Van Damme, 1994. I recommend, after watching this video, that you also watch Time Cop. And then maybe you'll feel as good as I do, a person who has watched Time Cop. The toilets in the castle are communal? Guess I'll try holding it for now. How many people live here? Because that, you know, you could, I mean, a communal... Communal bathroom is not a problem, it's it's the amount of people using the communal bathroom that, that may be a problem. Now, as an ex-university student, I know all about that, unfortunately. Oh, there are many stalls, I see what's happening here. Hopefully there's nobody lurking in- what? What? Hopefully there's nobody lurking in any of these. I know C4 hidden on the ceiling of any of these. Does this count as a hiding place? Yes, it does. Sort of. Seems like there's loads of hiding places. But uh, the big guy hasn't shown up all that much, so... The door is locked. How you doing, Huey? I haven't managed to scold him yet. I don't know how it works. Seems to be just hit left on the analog stick, but... Like with every other command, but for some reason it doesn't seem to want to do it. Not that I want to scold him, but you never know. You've obtained chamomile. Yes, I picked up several items that were hidden in pots. Thank you to everybody who is alive. Uh, and and then some for for uh, telling me about you can use the kick to uh, to open those little uh, those little jars. I knew they seemed to just stand out a little bit m more than anything else. I knew that there had to be something. Oh, yep. Okay, hiding. I'm I'm hiding in here. Definitely not showering. 
Okay, is this... There's got to be something in here, because this... I got nothing. I got nothing so far. Wonder if this water is drinkable. Just freshen up here a little bit. Oh my goodness! Recovery points. I didn't expect that. This game throws all kinds of things I've never seen before at me. Search your recovery point to calm Fiona from a state of panic and completely restore her stamina. However, please note that recovery points cannot be used while you are being pursued by an enemy. Recovery has been saved to your file. Wow, okay. Okay. So maybe this is just a recovery room. Oh, and that's why the plate key was called rest. This is... I guess this is kind of a safe area. It's got a few hiding spots. Which maybe the big guy can't can't do anything about. And you can uh, get your, your stamina back and all that stuff. And then you can uh, set out afresh. Alright, well, that works for me. Although it does leave me with a dilemma, which is where on earth do I go next? I'm back to I'm basically back to where I was now. I got that lady doing the cooking. I got a cracked wall here that I don't know how to do anything with. I don't really have an objective, and honestly, this lady seems to be making food, so I mean, do I really even want to leave? I'm quite happy for this to be the end of the game. I've achieved everything I want to. Which is a roof over my head and food in my belly. That's it. What do I do? Wait, there's a hook. Maybe if I attach something to it. Yeah, I've read this before, but I don't know what to attach to it. I have, I have no key items actually on me. Unless the broken marionette works. It actually did. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Survival horror, just use whatever you got on everything. I could have pulled that with my hand. Huey, you totally upstaged me there, just standing in front of me like that. Alright, let's save it. Because I don't want to have to do that again. I spent a long time, I've already drunk my tea. I spent a long time trying to find out where to go. <laughs> I want everybody to know that I, I maintain with... Um, I'm, I can't, I'm trying to think of every game I've ever played on this channel. And I'm trying to think of any time that I've ever really looked anything up. Well, this is creepy. And I feel like for modern games, it's a little bit more allowed. Because it's almost expected that that is going to happen. But for all the games, I feel like, no, this... this you, you gotta do this pure, you know? Otherwise, what are you actually doing? Are you actually achieving anything? It's closed. I wonder if there isn't a way for me to raise this. I want that's a weirdly phrased bit of bit of text there. I wonder if there isn't a way for me to raise this. Rather than I wonder if there is a way for me to raise this. So much personality in this game. Oh yeah, by the way, hopefully this is now 720p. I don't know if it's gonna be. I know that I've done that on PS2 before, but I didn't write it down. I did it for Silent Hill 3. And now I just don't I don't even remember how. I, I never write this stuff down. I don't know why. Because I always think, ah, it's, it's yeah, When am I going to need that again? But I'm always going to need it again. Huey, what are you barking at? There's nothing at all to bark at in here. Come on, this perfectly normal interior of a room. I just want to get out of this room as quickly as possible. The doll has been stabbed with small iron sticks. This place is so freakish. I feel as though someone's watching me on YouTube. And also from this wall. What? That didn't just kill me. My mouth is, like, hanging open right now. That just killed me, didn't it? That just killed me! Great. Excellent. 
So I've been hearing from the comments that this is based on Clock Tower games. So I imagine there's lots of that stuff where you can just die, you just dead, and you didn't know. <laughs> oh wow, my instincts for saving there were a spot on. You can't, can't teach that. Can't teach that. Whew, not in today's climate. All right. So what the hell? It's okay. I'm right here. Maybe I can send Huey over there. Go, Huey. He's either, that's what he's barking at. I feel bad kind of sending him to die. So there must be uh, some way across. Yeah, I know. I just want to get out of this room as quickly as possible. I know I do. I wonder if the... Oh, I know what this... Uh, okay, so I've been wondering what this little thing out here does. And I, yep, there you go. I knew I had to be for something relatively close by. What's that noise? Right, I need Huey. I do need Huey to sit on this. I tried this before. Come on. Dog, over here. I require your aid. Dog. Oh, <laughs> he's right there. Huey. Come on. Huey, I swear to God. Huey, I swear to God. Don't, don't even. Don't eat, come on. The God, this is like owning a real dog. This is like my actual dog. Get over here. Aha! Sit. There's a good boy. You stay there. Quick, get through before he has a chance to disobey. Oh, excellent. Huh. Perfect. It's a breaker box. Lower the handle? Yeah. Maybe that... Okay. I was going to say maybe that uh, turns this off. Yep. I had to try it, you know. Huey. Alright, Huey's just chilling out. Why would this be governed by a breaker box? Who made this? Who set this up? <laughs> this is Spencer Estate levels of ridiculous. Another chair. The theme of this game is chairs. There's an oddly placed chair here as well. This place continues to weird me out with its chair placement. You know, this would be some kind of horror game if I didn't have a dog with me. Oh, God, that actually kind of got me, but not quite. Some kind of ringing. But who could it be? This is actually like me. When the, when the house phone rings and it's late at night, this is how I approach that phone. <laughs> And this is usually what's on the other end. The signal is bad. Who is this? I do apologize. I'm going through a tunnel. You must pay attention now, Fiona. Be wary of Ricardo. Your asshole. Put it to your ear, Fiona. How can she hear what he's saying? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Puzzle? Just dial 1471 and get the number back. Why is there... Why is there music? Oh my god, he's right there! Go, Huey! Kill him! Wait, no, I don't want to go back that way. Keep killing him! Yeah! He did it! What a mansion! I'm in a main hall of some type. Alright, let's head upstairs. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Yeah! 
Huey, let's go. Let's get out. Let's get the hell out of here. Ugh. He shows up at the most inopportune moments. Huey. I could be running towards death here. I can absolutely feel myself running towards death. I'm not even paying attention to how creepy this is right now. Also, if I hide, what does Huey do? Wait a second, what's that? Let's both get in. Oh, we both hide. Oh, that's cute. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to wait it out. My eyes are popping out of my head in anticipation. <laughs> Don't stop. Do you mind not doing that? If I can't do that in public, you sure as hell can't. Coast clear! Excellent. Alright, Huey, if you want to just stop making that noise, that'd be good. Don't go out there. Oh, excellent. Oh my god, I made a noise. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Run. I didn't know that would alert him. That's a great piece of game right there. That's a great piece of video game. But god dang. Now I'm just going back on myself. Huey! Huey can't die, can he? Come on. Well, he's off fighting his own battles now. <laughs> Alright, is this the front door? Oh, this, this is definitely the front door. I've looped back on myself, haven't I? Yep, I've unlocked it, which means this is the bridge. Right at the beginning of the game. Excellent. Oh, and there's more of those orb things. God dang it. It's all kicking off now. There's nothing in there. Huey. Ugh. Where's the damn dog? Come on. Thank you. Just saunter on through, I guess. Can I not close this? Ah, <sighs> well, that was something. That was something. Huey. Yeah, that gets his stamina back. So, I may as well do it while we have a chance. <laughs> Come on, then. Ah, <sighs> Alright, so what did we learn? We learned not to kick things while there are enemies potentially nearby. And we also learned that Huey is a badass. Oh my goodness. These seem like you can just run around them. Am I am I correct in my assumption there? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so that's not too bad, but I maybe can't take too many of those. Come on. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go back in. This is the thing. Come on. I imagine even calling for Huey might alert him. You know, just making any kind of sound. But uh, we may as well explore this room a little bit more fully while we have a chance. Aha. Oh no, I don't want to kick that now. Because you do get some items. What did I get? I guess it's just healing stuff. I don't know if there's anything... I, don't, I doubt they put a key item in something like that. Basically the equivalent of the RE4 barrels, you know? God, I love the RE4 barrel so much. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough about that. Enough about that lesser game. Wait, this is already open. Is this where I came in? Yeah. Oh yeah, there was something back here. God, I almost forgot. I obtained magnesia. So that's like a landmine. That's basically a landmine, isn't it? Created by polishing extracted magnesium ore, this item is used by setting it on the ground, like a claymore. If an enemy runs over the magnesia, it will explode and do damage. <laughs> it's not a feature I expected. The line must have been cut. There is no dial tone. Various ornaments have been placed here. They all look quite dusty, though. Wait, is that a hidden item? 
it is not. Alright, well we're not doing too bad. And uh, also this map, I feel like we've just got to learn the layout, because this map is not a map. This is just... You might as well throw shit on the wall. It's that, that's how clear that is, you know? Which, if I get scared by that big guy anymore, that might actually be what I end up doing. Alright, well, I'm going to have to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Haunting Ground. Have a beautiful day. If you're having a bad day, don't worry, because it's not always going to be like that. It's fine. Just remember, you know? 24 hours from now, it's going to be totally different, so don't worry about it. But yeah, have a nice day, guys. And I will see you next time. See you later. Huey, do you mind?